Paul Fred. I hope everybody's staying healthy. Today I'm going to show you a style of guitar that we don't often see. It's a thin line. This particular one's made by Alhambra. They became popular during the Gypsy King days. Uh, they, uh, they're available under various names from Spain, but almost always they're made by the parent company, Alhambra, no matter what brand happens to appear on the guitar. The, the concept uh, is to give you a, a, a conventional classical sounding guitar, but reduce the internal volume so you get significantly less feedback. It does kill some of the tone, but they sound surprisingly good. And many people who buy them to play in Latin jazz, live performance situations because they're looking for a guitar that's more feedback resistant, tell me that they end up playing at home because it's so comfortable to sit with. Uh, it's a handy small size instrument to use as a songwriting when you're working at a desk. Uh, they come in various qualities. Uh, I'm of the opinion that you don't need to go to the three or $4,000 version because the body's shallow, there's some tonal compromise anyway, don't spend that money. Get one of the intermediate models, you, then you get a good quality preamp, good quality fingerboard and construction. There's three versions that I carry ranging from roughly a thousand up to roughly 2,500 and they have a uh, very good successful track record with professional players. So they're called thin lines. They have a, the letter CT in their product name to indicate the thin size. Grant at the 12th fret guitar shop. Nice to see you.